MXGP of Argentina coming up. Last training session here in uh, France before traveling out there this afternoon. Going to be a long flight, but first, gotta do some cycling together with uh, Valentin. A little bit of an easy cycle this morning to get the body going before the flight. Horgmo.net, get yourself some awesome merchandise. Support me. So let's go cycling. Good morning. Good? Yeah, you fit? For your protection, go sit in the RB section for this session. This is a good coffee ride, eh? <laughs> Muffin, cappuccino. One hour fifty with a lot of wind. More coffee later, we are here. <laughs> Save a trip. Now let's go on the real trip. Oh, the longer. The longer trip. Googles are ready. Packing off the bag. Googles, goggles, however you pronounce it. Travel hack. Put your slow carbs and recovery extreme into plastic bags. So you don't have to bring this full bucket. And then I just put everything that I need into this and then we're good. Compression socks going on. They don't want to go on. Stripped down to my skin and my bones. I love huskies, but I feel like a wolf. In a pack, but I feel all alone. I'm scared of brain, man. Better off for the clone. In Tay High's apartment with race size. Ready for the first one? Argentina, here we go. Let's go. Real quick, bills still stacking to the ceiling. What you mean it ain't working? What you mean you ain't find yourself? What you mean you ain't got no cash? I got a little bit. What you mean? What you mean? Shouldn't your pockets be big just like a fat chick? Shouldn't your mama be done picking right. the house up? In the morning, good sleep. Yeah, yeah I took two pills, I slept very good. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't need pills, but I slept actually pretty good. Hello, taxi and new airport, new flight. The original licks, flick it to higher than yolk, symmetry breaking the moat, mentally master with no limits and making them say, huh? They won't ship and I force viciously watching the floor tipping your temple of authenticity. Often they say I'm off it, I offer my cross sympathy. They forgot what we on, I remind them of hostility. High diggity damn, everyone running scams. Gotta cover your clams and take another glance. Running a clinic, no scans, ain't no one claiming your man's. It's all pertaining to plan, call me the architect. Lap you in a UFO, I haven't started yet. Still gotta figure out exactly where to park it at. Moses with a pen, each line in ocean, I can So it nice. Argentina. Full position. Uh, yeah, 47. Yeah. Huh, fast. Uh, top. So, have arrived here in Villa La Angostura and how nice is it here? So good, so nice to come back to this place. Look at this view, it's so sick, just outside, just outside my hotel room. Don't call me stupid, that ain't the way my name pronounced. Don't call me stupid, I got too many hoes right now. Pull side in, you stand trying to see if Beyonce will take me for adoption. Broke ass rich suburbs, a civilian shot in third world. We just bought a fountain. What did you we are in the woods, Vettete. Yeah, bike is dope, eh? 
Oh, Marley. I have too much air in the tire. No traction. Di Maria. Di Maria. Di Maria. Back home. Di Maria. Di Maria. Put a lean in my sprite can. What you stay here? On the map it was looking fast. Yeah, but that's some height meters now there. Just to me, I like a rest. Pick me some of the hand of the ice on my boys and I'm always flexed. I don't need nobody trying to give me shit. I got a record, but I'm clean as they come. I'm Godzilla, when they see me, they run. On 37th, used to run from the bloods. The undercovers got a duck when they come. I moved out and in a couple of months. I'ma be a pop star, they call me a thug. I used to write raps on the back of the bus. Now I'm in the front seat shifting the gears. It's funny how things can change. So it's Friday, and uh, yeah, not much more to say than that. Yesterday, pretty chill day here, some cycling, and. Uh, more or less chilling than this night been raining like crazy was like a big storm that hit us so uh, yeah now it's clearing up and i think it's perfect for the track because yeah when we were cycling yesterday the trail was really dusty so i think it haven't rained that much lately here so i think it's just going to be perfect for the race and uh, yeah it's time to head to the track and do all the friday stuff check out the track do some starts uh, yeah do the inscription for a helmet and all those things so uh, let's just head over to the track now and then uh, let's uh, see what is to be done there <laughs> So then Friday is done, checking out the track, it looked perfect, did some starts, was good and uh, yeah, all the Friday stuff is finished, so just going to head out, get some dinner now in some restaurant here, got some massage and uh, ready for tomorrow and Sunday, Sunday is the important of course, but ready for tomorrow, so feeling good and uh, ready to get some good powerful food now some pasta i think pasta rice something chicken maybe and then uh, get ready for tomorrow so let's just skip ahead to tomorrow and race day one qualifying day yeah let's go so then qualifying day is done yeah, it was uh, not so bad. Uh, started off the free practice in uh, 14th, I think. Not sure on that, I will correct it if it's wrong. But had a lot of arm pump. And then for the time practice, I wasn't jumping one jump until my fastest lap, which I jumped the jump, but then I messed up the next session, section, the wave section after it. It's like a on-off with a sharp landing and they took it off for the uh, time practice, the landing, they curved it a little bit more, more, but I didn't notice, so in the free practice I was a pussy and I didn't want to jump it, to be honest, and then for time practice I was scared to jump it, but then I saw they had flattened the landing, so I just went for it, but made a mistake on the next section because I was not used to jumping, so yeah, I don't know why I didn't jump it earlier, but just part of the learning process need to get back into the race rhythm and do those things quickly anyway um, then afterwards i didn't manage to put a full lap together it was or somebody crashed in the waves or it was some guys riding slow and i couldn't do the jumps or something so yeah p16 i think so not too bad the time was like two and a half seconds off the first one 
and it's MXGP, so it wasn't that bad. Anyway, for the qualifying moto, really good start from yeah the box. Uh, so I had 19 guys in front of me on the inside, but I had a good jump and tried to cro cross over. So I was like two, three into the corner, but yeah, I had to go wide because because the guys go wide from the inside and uh, was like six, seven. So the back of Hurlings there for a few jumps and at the back of Prado also. So. That was cool, nice experience. Didn't make it last very long when I messed up uh, after waves. It's a jump, right? And then like a single double with a lot of ruts. And with all the guys in front of me, I didn't hit uh, the rut good. Like I didn't hit it straight. I hit it from the side on an angle. So it kicked me sideways and I went off the track. So I think I was in seventh at that point. And then off track excursion come back on the track and I was like 11th, so 11th, 12th, 13th, somewhere around there, I don't know. I was battling my teammate a little bit, not much of a battle, we were riding next to each other, but he had me on the inside. And yeah, I felt like I had good flow and uh, I was enjoying my, my race. I had some battle with also my Norwegian friend Tundel and uh, I passed him but uh, later on I stole the bike in one corner and yeah he repassed me and I didn't manage to repass again so in the end finished 14th and uh, yeah decent day I didn't feel like I pushed it really in the qualifying moto the the track was super sketchy it was like small kickers everywhere and uh, yeah, it was a difficult track with the 450. Like I've been enjoying it so much on the 250, but coming here with a 450 is completely different animal, but I just need to adapt a little bit. And I think for tomorrow, it will be a better day. If I can keep up the start like this, then uh, keep the mistakes away and just ride my race consistently and be able to push a little bit. I felt like I was rolling around today, <laughs> so need to get that click in the head but yeah it's my second race on the 450 didn't do so many pre-season race only one so yeah we are at a decent point we aren't that far off so yeah just uh, here to learn and uh, tomorrow it's full gas time so let's get grab some dinner now and then get ready for tomorrow let's send it so good morning guys it's actually saturday the next saturday and uh, yeah, we are back in France. Sunday, incredible day actually. Um, first race, yeah, didn't get off to the best start. I made a small mistake on the gate. And uh, yeah, I was riding 14th, 15th, battling there. In the end, got myself up to a 12th. I'm feeling better and better throughout the moto. In the end, I put my fastest laps. So that was really good. And uh, I was happy with that. And confident going into race two which I got a much better start. I was riding like into the corner, third maybe, four, but yeah, I didn't cut across and uh, yeah, I got out uh, sixth. Was riding in sixth for a long time behind Jeremy Siever. First two, three laps and then I lost his wheel. I was riding a little bit alone, <coughs> but I felt like I had pressure from behind all moto. And uh, yeah, I was riding in sixth for, I think like 15, 16, 17 minutes. So that was really cool. And then I had a train of uh, Hurlings, Renault, Goldnoff and Vlandren behind me. And yeah, Hurlings and Renault got past me quite quickly. I held Goldnoff and uh, Vlandren for another two laps, but I made one small mistake on the corner and both got by, so that was a bit unfortunate. I would like to try keep them behind me even longer, but yeah, I was really on my limit, I think. Not fitness wise, but like keeping that intensity up was, was hard for me without mis making mistakes. I was riding really calm and nice the first 15 minutes, but then the intensity was just really high over a long time and I started making mistakes, so I need to get used to the intensity a bit. So hopefully in the next GPs, I will start up front as well. That's the main goal to race with those guys and, and learn and uh, yeah, get the intensity. Because yeah, when I start in the back, I take the rhythm of those guys. 
when I stand in the front, I will try to take the rhythm of the faster guys. So that is the goal. Yeah, that's just how it is. And also, yeah, not much filming on the races because I'm completely alone with the team and that, but didn't have any one to film. So yeah, that's how it is. And in Spain will be better than my mom and dad is there also. So that will be cool and a little bit more of the racing again. So anyway, 